All right, welcome back. Another video for our safety um, series. This one's on our scroll saw. Uh, to get started, I just want to show you guys a couple parts on the scroll saw that you're going to need to know about and how to adjust things. Um, so to start off, we have our hold down foot. That's this metal piece right here. That's going to hold our material or help us hold our material to our table so it doesn't bounce as much. Right here is the hold down foot lock. So this is what we're going to loosen and we're able to move this up and down to adjust to the material that we're gonna be working with. Um, over here is our tension knob. You guys really will not be using this at all. If um, anything happens, Mr. Singer or myself will um, adjust that. Down here, we have our speed knob. Um, so from slow to fast. And right here is our power switch. That's essentially all of the things you're gonna to need to know um, about the, or the, the parts you're gonna to need to know about the scroll saw. Um, so we're going to get going, we're going to uh, start cutting something here. Uh, first I'm going to take off my jewelry. I do not have long hair, so I don't need to tie that back. I have closed toed shoes on, my sleeves are short, so I don't have to roll anything up. I don't ever wear any kind of necklaces or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to uh, go ahead and turn this on, and you can see that a light will turn on. It will help us see what we're doing. Um, as we're cutting, there is a little blower right here that blows the dust out for us. Um, so I have a piece of plywood here. I'm going to turn this up because plywood I want on a little bit faster of a speed. You don't ever want to, or you don't always want to run the scroll saw at full speed. Okay. There are certain materials you might want to um, re reduce the speed. Some you might want to uh, make go faster. But we're going to make two different cuts today. One is just going to be a straight cut. And then we're going to do this curve cut where we're going to do a couple relief cuts in there. Relief cuts are when you cut in from the side here to the line. And then as you cut this way, those pieces fall off so it doesn't put as much tension on the blade. So let's start with our straight cut first. Um, I have my lines clearly marked and I have um, enough space for my fingers to be away from the blade. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. When I start cutting, I want the blade always, and the line, to always be pointing towards my chest. That will ensure that I'm on my line. All right, there's my straight cut. I'm actually going to turn it up because uh, that was a little bit more difficult than it should have been to cut that straight line. Um, scraps, if they fall out like they did, uh, you can move them to the side. Otherwise, you can use a piece of cardboard or another piece of wood to move them out of the way, but you don't want to use your fingers while it's, it's actually um, on, the machine's on. So, now I'm going to do my curved cuts. I'm going to do a couple relief cuts first. So, again, that's going from the edge to the line that I'm going to be cutting. So, I'll stop right there, back it out. I'm going to do a couple more. Stop on the line. And as always, guys, I'm also not forcing the blade. I'm letting the blade do the work. So now I'm going to be able to cut the line. And as you can see, I can move the blade a little bit. And nope, see that piece fell off. So that takes the, the tension off the blade. Another one that just fell off. And that one I did not go far enough in on my relief cut, so I'm just going to go back in and pop it off. So that's how relief cuts work, and that's how you can get a nice curved uh, line. Um, once you're done cutting, make sure you take your scraps, you throw them away. Uh, clean up your area. Um, again, I want to just re remind you guys, before you start, you always want to make sure that you have the, uh, um, the machine turned on with your material not touching the blade. Okay? And then you can go in and, again, just make your cuts. But for the purpose of the video, I'll let you guys do that. If you have any questions, ask Mr. Singer or myself.